Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and today we are studying the subject Cambridge O Levels D Maths 4024. We are working on the syllabus and we are working on the concepts of the angle properties of the circles. We are working on the exercise 13C from the book D3. The name of the book is New Syllabus Mathematics, 7th edition, book three. This is my third video on this exercise. And in this exercise, in this video, we are going to work, we will try to work on uh, from question number 20 to question number 27. I have already done two videos on this exercise and on those in, in those videos, um, we have done from question number one to question number 19. So you can find those two videos in my YouTube channel in the playlist D3 Math 4024. In this video, we are going to attempt and we will try to complete this exercise. Total 27 questions are there. So this exercise. Okay, so... Uh, so we are on the question number 20 and in the question number 20, he says in the figure, two circles intersect at the point G and H. GF is a diameter of the circle GF, GHF and the angle GFFH is 35 degree. ED is a chord in the larger circle and the EHF is a straight line. Okay, so this GF is basically, this GF is basically the diameter of this circle, okay? So the question is EDG, EDG is this angle, they want you to find out this angle, and DEF, the DEF is this angle, okay? So we, I want this angle and this angle. So these two angles are the question, so the strategy is very simple. You join these two points with each other and then only look at the small circle. Okay, join G and H because GF is the diameter. So when you join GH, the angle GHF will be 90. So this will be 90. And this angle here, G H G F, that will be 180 minus 90 minus 35. Once you know this angle, you will be able to find out this angle, DGH, that will be, I think, 127. This angle here, GHF is 90, so the GHE will be also be 90. So if this is 90, then look at the big circles. This angle and this angle, they are the angles in the opposite segment. This sum will be 180. This angle and this angle, they will be the angles in the opposite segments, and their sum will be 180. So this is the strategy, how we will work on it. So let me show you. Okay, so here we go. So question number 20. So suppose this angle is alpha, this angle is beta, this angle is gamma, this angle is X. This angle will be 90 because this is the diameter. So right angle in the semicircle. So the alpha, so the angle alpha will be, the angle alpha will be 90. And this angle beta, that can be found very easily. Uh, you can see here, alpha is 90, right angle in the semicircle. The angle beta will be beta plus alpha plus 35 equals to 180. So the beta plus 90 plus 35 equals to 180. So the beta will be equals to 180 minus 125. So beta will be 55 degree. So once you know the beta and the alpha, we can find the X and the gamma because this is a straight line. So gamma plus beta will be equal to weight a 180 because it's a straight line. Some of the adjacent angles on a straight line is 180. So the gamma plus beta will be equal to 180. So the gamma plus 55 will be equal to 180. So the gamma, the gamma will be equal to 180 minus 55. So it will be 125. So this angle will be 125, 125, okay? So in the same way, I can find the X, X plus alpha will be also 180 because the sum of the adjacent angles on a straight line is 180. So X plus gamma will be 180. So X plus 90 gamma, well, sorry, X plus alpha equals to 180. So X plus 90 will be equals to 180. So X will be equals to 180 minus 90. So X will be equals to 90. So now I know this angle, this is uh, 90 and I know this gamma. 
This is 125. So now look at this big circle. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral D G H E D G H E D G H E. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. So the angles in opposite corners, their sum will be 180. We call this uh, we call this angles in the opposite segment are supplementary. So gamma plus the D E H and the X plus the G D E that or that will be 180. So the EDG plus the X will equals to 180 angles in the opposite segments are supplementary. So the EDG plus 90 is equals to 180. So the EDG G equals to 180 minus 90. So the EDG angle will be 90. So this angle here, that will be 90 because this and this, they are uh, angles in the opposite, uh, angles in the opposite segment. Okay, in the same way, uh, L gamma plus this angle will be 180, uh, DEF plus gamma equals to 180. Angles in the opposite segment are supplementary. So DEF plus 125 equals to 180. So the DEF is equals to 180 minus 125 and the DEF will be equals to 55 degrees. So this is how you will do this question. So let me try to reduce the size so you can see the the size will become quite small. Okay, so this is the whole question showing up on your screen. And what you can do, you can do, you can pause the video and you can take your time with this question. I hope you understand this question. So we are going to the next question. The next question coming up on your screen is question number 21. He says, in the figure, two circles intersect at the point Q and uh, r o is the center of the circle the sqr s sqr circle this circle its center is at o okay and the angle r sq r sq is 110 and the psr psr is a chord in the largest circle so this psr is a chord in the largest circle the question is find the angle qps the q P S. They want to find out this angle. So I will try to find out this angle. And in the big circle, this angle and this angle, there will be angles in the opposite segment. So very easily, I will be able to find out the angle QPS. So let me show you how I have done this. So here you can see. Uh, okay. So now... Here you can see this is the strategy of uh, how this question can be done. And the strategy is, uh, this is 110. This is the center of this small circle. So uh, first of all, I will find this angle. This will be double of that 110. Angle at the center is two times angle at the circumference. Once I know the alpha, I will, from 360, I will subtract the alpha. I will, I will get the value of the beta. Once I know the value of the beta, then look at this big circle. And this P R O Q, P R O Q, P R O Q is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if you know the angle beta, I can find this angle. They are angles in the opposite segment. Their sum will be 180. They are supplementary to each other. So once you know the value of the beta, you can find the value of the uh, uh, QPS, very easy and simple question. Okay, so alpha, this alpha, two times alpha will be equals to, alpha will be equals to two times 110 because alpha is the angle at the center and the, by this chord QR and the 110 is the angle subtended by the chord QR at the circumference. So alpha will be equals to two multiply 110, that will be 220. So uh, this is the reason is angle at the center is two times angle at the angle at the circumference. So then beta plus alpha, beta plus alpha, that will be 360. So I know the value of the alpha, I can find the value of the beta. Beta plus alpha will be equal to 360. So beta will be beta plus 220 equals to 360. So beta will be 360 minus 220. And the beta will be 140. Once you know the beta value, once you know the beta value, so it will be 140. 
So then uh, if you look at the big circle, this big, big one, and you can see that the P, R, O, Q is a cyclic quadrilateral, beta and the angle Q, P, S, that is uh, uh, angles in the opposite segment, the sum is 180, they are supplementary to each other. So the QPS plus the beta is equal to 180. The reason is angles in the opposite segment are supplementary. The QPS plus 140 equals to 180. So the QPS will be equal to 180 minus 140. So the QPS value will be 40. So, <clears throat> so this is how you will do this question. And let me reduce the size. So, so you can see the whole question together. Okay. Okay, now the question number 21, the whole question is showing up on the screen. You can pause the video and you can take your time with this question. So this is how you will do question number 21. Okay, so we are going to the next question. The next question is question number 22. In the figure, the points P, A, B, and X lie on the larger circle and the Q, B, Q, B, A, Y lie on the smaller circle. The Q, P, A, Q, the P, A, Q, and the X, A, Y, they are straight lines. The B, A, X, the B, A, X angle, let me increase the size. The B, A, X angle is 58. The P, B, X, 26. L, uh, A, B, Y, A, B, Y, this small angle, that's also 23. So this angle is 26, this angle is 23, this angle is 58. So what they want? They want us to find out the A, Q, B. They want us to find out this angle, the A, Q, B, this angle, the A, Q, B. And they want us to find out the A, Y, A, Y, Q. They want us to find out the A, Y, Q, this whole angle, okay? So let me show you the strategy, how we are going to find it. And this is how we will do this. Okay. So we want the AQB, uh, basically I want this angle and they want AYQ, this whole angle, okay? So we will try to solve it. You see the strategies are written here. You see this angle is um, alpha and this angle is 26. Look at this big circle. They are coming from the chord PX, they are on the circumference, so alpha and this 26, they will be equal. The X and the alpha, they will be equal to each other because these are two straight lines cutting each other. So X and the alpha, they will be vertically opposite angle. Okay. Another thing, uh, this beta, this beta will be equals to 23. The reason is in the small circle, the chord AY coming to the circumference, this angle is 23. The chord AY uh, subtends angle beta on the circumference. So beta will be equals to 23. This angle is uh, 58. Once you know the alpha and the 50, this is 58. So you can find this gamma because this is the PAQ is a straight line. So one, two, three, these three angles, this sum will be equal to 180. So or you can do, go with the line X, A, Y, then 58 plus gamma plus X, that will be a straight line. So their sum will be 180. Some of the adjacent angles on a straight line is 180. So you will have the value of the gamma. So once you know the value of the gamma and the, you see another very important thing, look at this Y, Q. The YQ is a chord. The YQ goes to the circumference. You get this angle X. The YQ chord goes to the circumference and the angle is Y. So this X and the Y, they will be same. Angles in the, in the same segment, they are equal. So I know the gamma, I know 23 plus Y, then I can find this one. So this is how this uh, question will be cracked. And let's, let's, let's do, so alpha will be equal to 25, 26. This alpha will be 26. The reason is they are the angles in the same segment in the same way the beta will be 23. This beta will be equal to this because of the chord AY. So because angles in the same segment, 
Then we have the alpha plus 58 plus the gamma is equal to 180. This is a straight line, alpha plus 58 plus gamma. The PAQ is a straight line. So from there, we can find the value of the gamma. 26 plus 58 plus gamma is equal to 180. So the gamma will be 180 minus 84. So the gamma will be 96. In the same way, we can have uh, X is equal to alpha. And this X and uh, alpha, they will be equal to each other. The reason is they are the vertically opposite angles. So Y will be equal to X and that will be equal to 26 angles in the same segment. This Y and this X, they are same because they are the angles in the same segment. Now I can find this angle. Uh, you see the gamma plus 23 plus Y plus this angle, a AQB, they are making a triangle. So their sum will be 180. So uh, gamma plus 23 plus Y plus AQB, that's 180. So the 96 plus uh, 23 plus 26 plus AQB is equal to 180. So the angle AQB will be equal to 180 minus 145. The AQB will be 35 degrees. So this angle is how much? 35 degrees. Okay. So uh, this angle, the AYB, uh, sorry, QYB, the QYB, this angle and the gamma, they are equal to each other, remember. They are coming from the chord BQ, so they are angles in the same segment. So once I know this angle and this angle, then very easily I can find out, okay? Now the AYB, AYB is equal to the AQB, angles in the same segment, so it means the AYB is 35. The AYQ is equal to the gamma angles in the same segment. So the AYQ is equal to 96. So once I know these two angles, AYB and the uh, QYB, I know these two angles. I will add them simply and uh, AYQ plus AYB, uh, AYB plus BYQ. And the AYQ will be equal to 35 plus 96. So the AYQ will be equal to 131, 131. So uh, this is how you will do this question. So my dear students, this was the question number 22. So let me reduce the size so you may be able to see. Okay, so I will, I will roll down this slide slowly so you can have a look at this question. This is the diagram of that question and this is the the walking. You can pause the video and you can take your time. And I hope you will understand these questions are not that simple. They're not very difficult, but that they are not very simple. Okay, so now we are going to the next question. The next question is coming up on your screen is question number 23. He says uh, the in, in the figure, O is the center of the larger circle passing through the point A, C, and D with the DOA as a diameter. P is the center of the smaller uh, circle through the point O, B, and A with OPA as, OPA as a diameter. Okay. Show that the triangle ABO, ABO is similar to the ACD. Okay, you can understand this is the diameter. So this angle will be 90. Let me increase the size. Let's say. So we have to show that they are similar. Okay, so because the this is diameter, A, OA is the diameter of this small circle. So this angle will be 90, right angle in the semicircle. DA is also the diameter, and this is the diameter of the largest circle. So the ACD, that angle will be also 90, right angle in the semicircle. So this angle, angle, and this angle, they both are 90 degree. And this angle A is common in both the triangles. So these two triangles will be similar due to the equiangular, uh, because they are equiangular. So let me reduce the size. So first part is we have to show that the ABO is similar to the ACD. Okay, so you see, this angle alpha, this angle alpha is 90 degree and this angle beta is 90 degree. The reason is right angle in the semicircle. This is the diameter of the smaller circle there and the DA is the diameter of the larger circle. And the angle A will be common 
here here is the a part the angle oab and the dac is a common angle so we are talking about this angle oab and the dac that's the common angle and the angle abo and the angle acd both are equal to 90 these two angles they are equal to 90 so both are 90 so so the triangle oab is similar to the triangle dac because they are equiangular triangles so this is how you will do the a part in the b part in the b part given also that the ap is 4 cm and the ob is 4.5 cm find the length of the oc and the cd so the length of the ap ap that's the radius of the small circle that's 4 so this side will be also 4 and the OB is 4.5. So the question is find the OC and the CD. Now, OC is the question. So the OC will be equals to the OD. So that will be 8 centimeter. You see the OP is also 4. AP is given as 4. Because that's the radius of small circle. This is also the radius of small circle. Now this 8 is the radius of the big circle. So the OD is also the radius of the big circle. So that will be also 8. So the OD is, uh, so the o, OC is also the radius of the big circle. OC is the radius of the big circle. So this will be also eight. In the same way, the question is find the value of the CD. You know, the, 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 you, you, you just calculated that these are the similar triangles. So uh, this side of the small triangle, so from the names, uh, you see, C D will be divided by with the B O. A D will be divided with the A O. So the C D and the B O value is 4.5 is equals to A D value is 16. That's the diameter of the big circle. And the A O is 8. So the C D will be equals to 2 multiply 4.5, and that will be 9. So that will be 9. So this is how you will do the B second part. So my dear students, we are done with the question number 23. And now the whole question is, the whole question is showing up on your, on, on your screen. That's how you do the question number 23. Now we are on the question number 24. He says in the figure A, B, C, and the D are the points on the circle the p a b and the p d q c are the straight lines q b is parallel to the d a q b is parallel to the d a so these two lines they are parallel to each other show that the triangle p a d is similar to the p b q you see very simple this angle p is common this angle and this angle, they will be corresponding angles of the parallel lines. And this angle here, D, DAP, and the angle QBA, they will be corresponding angles of the similar triangle. So these, these two triangles, they have three angles which are exactly the same. So very easily you can prove that these triangles are similar to each other. So here we go, uh, okay. So here we have the next uh, question number 24. Okay. So So suppose uh, I just I just wrote here. I uh, suppose this angle is alpha. This angle is beta. So this angle will be 180 minus alpha. This angle will be 180 minus beta. So if this is uh, 180 minus alpha, so this angle ABQ, that will be also 180 minus alpha. This angle BQD, this will be also 180 minus beta because they are the corresponding angles of the parallel lines. These are the corresponding angles of the parallel lines. Okay. So, uh, And the very important thing, if you look at this, this is alpha, if this is alpha, then this angle, which is not the parallel line, but this is a cyclic quadrilateral, A, B, C, D. So this alpha and this angle at the C will be 180. If this is alpha, then 
this will be 180 minus alpha. If this is beta, then this whole angle at the C, B, A, that will be 180 minus beta because they are angles in the opposite segment. We are talking about the B, A, B, C. Okay, so this is the basic strategies. Okay, so uh, I can say that A, P, D angle will be equals to the B, P, Q, that's the common angle. The A, D, A angle and the P, Q, B angle, that's the corresponding angles. The P, A, D is equals to the P, B, Q because they are the corresponding angles of the parallel line. So it means that the triangle APD is similar to the triangle BPQ. That's because they are equiangular triangles. So let me reduce the size so you can see the whole argument and the diagram together. So the APD is equals to the BPQ and the common angle. And the ADA equals to the triangle PQB. That's the corresponding angles. The PAD is equal to the PBQ, they are corresponding angles. So this is how you will prove that they are, these two triangles, they are similar to each other. Okay. Now the next question they ask us, name another triangle that is similar to the PAD, explain your answer. So I, let me show you very simple. Okay, look at here. This angle, is 180 minus beta. This whole angle is also 180 minus beta. This angle is 180 minus gamma, uh, alpha, sorry. So this angle at the C is also 180 minus alpha. The P angle is common. So the triangle PAD is similar to PCB. Okay, so this is how you will do that. This is a little tricky question. So now I'm showing you the working. See, that, that the PAD is equal to the alpha, then the DAP will be equal to 180 minus alpha. ADC is equal to beta, so the ADP will be equal to 180 minus beta. The PBC is equal to 180 minus beta, angles in the opposite segment. And the PCB is equal to 180 minus uh, alpha, angles in the opposite segment. So the triangle PAD is similar to triangle PCB, because they are equiangular triangle. A very, very tricky question. Uh, you know, because to write the arguments that they are similar, they are not similar is always a little tricky for our students, but uh, the whole question is coming up on your screen. You can pause the video and you can take your time and solve this question. Okay. So now we are on the question number 25. He says in the figure, A, B, E, and C are the points on the circle. A, E is the diameter of the circle and the A, D is the height of the triangle A, B, C. Okay. Given that the C, A, D angle is equal to 180, find the B, A, E. I want to find out this angle. I want to find out this angle. Okay. So, AE is the diameter. Okay, so just join E and C and it will be solved. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so uh, you just have to join E and the C with each other. So because it is given that AE is the diameter, so the angle here will be 90. This angle is 90, this angle is 18, so I can find this alpha. Once I know the alpha, then I can find this angle. Uh, alpha will be one. You see alpha plus 90 plus 18 equals to 180. So we are talking about ADC triangle. And uh, alpha will be 180 minus 108. And the alpha will be 72. Once I know the alpha, I, you know the ACE angle, that will be the right angle in the semicircle. So from EC, I can find the ECB angle, that angle, this shaded angle. This plus alpha will be equals to 90. So the ECB plus the 72 will be equals to 90. So because this angle is, the whole angle is 90. This whole angle is 90. Its name is ACE angle. So 90 minus 72, it will be 18. So this shaded angle is 18. So if you look at this chord BE, you bring it to the circumference, you got this angle. 
same ends of the chords went to the circumference here. So this shaded angle and this shaded angle, they will be equal to each other because this is the angles in the same segment. So this, that was the question. So the BAE angle will be equal to the ECB, the angles in the same segment. So the BAE B, A, e angle will be equal to the 18. So this is how you will do this whole question. So um, this whole question is showing up on your screen. So you can pause the video and you, take, you can take your time. This is how you will do the question number 25. Okay, so we are going to the next question. The next question is question number 26. He says in the figure, the A, Q, C, P, B, and R are the points on the circle. A, P, B, Q, and the C are the angle bisectors of the angle A, angle B, and angle C respectively. So these dotted lines, they are basically, uh, they have divided this uh, angle at the A, angle at the B, angle at the C into two equal parts, okay? They are the angle bisectors of the angle A, B, and C respectively. Given that the angle A is 50, so these two angles will be 25, 25. Angle B is 70, so it will be, this angle will be 35, this angle will be 35. Angle C is 60, so this will be 30, this will be 30. Find the angle P, Q, and R. This is a very easy question. So let me show you. It's, it's easy peasy, okay? So suppose this angle is alpha, alpha, this angle will be beta, beta, because this dotted line is the angle bisector of the angle B. Here, this will be gamma, gamma. Angle A is 50, so the alpha, alpha will be 25, 25, 25. Angle B is 70, so the beta, beta, they both will be 35, 35. The gamma and the C angle is uh, 70, so, uh, sorry, 60. So the gamma will be 30, 30. So uh, the angle P, you can see uh, that is equals to the uh, gamma. This angle is equals to the gamma and this angle is equals to the beta. So the angle P will be equals to the beta plus the gamma. So it will be 35 plus, uh, it will be 35, it will be 35 plus 30. So that will be 65. Angle Q, Look at this angle Q. This angle is equals to the gamma, and this angle is equals to the alpha. So the angle Q will be gamma plus the alpha. That will be 35 plus 25, and it will be 55. In the same way, angle R, look at the angle R. Where's the angle R? Where's the angle R? This is it. This angle, this angle, is equals to this beta and this angle is equals to this alpha. So the R will be beta plus the alpha. So that will be 35 plus 25 and that will be 60. So my dear students, the whole question, question number 26 is showing up on your screen. You can pause the video and you can take your time. And this is how you will solve this question. So, okay, so now we are going to the next question, which is the last one. And this is question number 27. And he says, uh, in the figure, AOB is a diameter of the circle, center O. C is a point on the circumference such that CK is perpendicular to AB. Show that, that the ACK, ACK is similar to the triangle ACK. K is similar to the triangle C, B, K. Okay, so this angle is 90. This angle uh, will be uh, 90. It's very simple. So then we have to show that they are similar. So let's see how I have done this. That's for the question number. Okay. So here, this is a right angle triangle. This is the center of the circle. This is 10, this is 12. So what I will do, I will apply the Pythagoras. I will find this value alpha. 10, al not Pythagoras, sorry. I said Pythagoras. Uh, 10, I will apply the 10 alpha. So the 10 alpha will be equal to the perpendicular by base. That's 10 by 20, by 12, sorry. 
So alpha will be equals to 10 inverse 10 by 12. So it will be 13.39.8. So it's approximately uh, 39. We will take the value 39.8. I rounded it off. But when I round it off, the, the values change a little bit. So the alpha will be 39.8. So this alpha value is 39.8. So then I will find the beta. Beta will be equals to 180 minus 90 minus 50 uh, minus 39.8. Instead of using 40, so use 39.8. So uh, you will get 50.2. So beta value will be 50.2. This whole angle will be 90. So from 90 subtract the beta, you will get the gamma because this is the diameter. So the angle ACB is right angle in the semicircle. So the angle ACB is equal to 90 right angle in the semicircle. So the ACB is 90. So the uh, gamma plus the 50.2 uh, 50 equals to 90. So the gamma, the gamma, this is a gamma angle that will be also 39.8. So uh, So I will, I will be able to find out this angle X that will be 180 minus gamma minus 90. So 90 plus gamma plus X equals to 180. And uh, it will be 90 plus 39.8 plus X equals to 180. So X will be equals to 50.2. So this X value is also 50.2. Now you can compare the triangle in, the, in, in, in these two triangles. Uh, the AKC AK angle and the CKB angle, they both are same, they are 90. KAC K -A -C angle and the KCB angle, they both are 40-40. ACK and the CBK angle, they are 50-50. So it means that the triangle AKC is similar to the triangle CKB because they are equiangular triangles. You see, this is a little tricky thing. It's not a straightforward uh, So this is uh, the whole uh, section A, first part, part A is showing up, where you have to prove that this and this triangle, they are similar to each other. <clears throat> Quite unusual calculation we have done. Okay, now the question is, now the question is, given that, that the AK is 12 centimeter and CK is 10 centimeter, find the radius of the circle. So we want to find out the radius of this uh, circle. So I know this, uh, I know this angle, and I know this angle. So I can apply a simple trigonometry and I can find out the tan of the 40 will be BK divided by 10. So the BK will be equal to 10 multiply, sorry, the value, don't take the value 40, take 39.8, okay? So the tan of 39.8 will be equal to the BK divided by 10. So the BK will be, 8.33. Now the diameter will be the AB plus, uh, the diameter will be the AB that will be 12 plus 8.33. So 12 plus 8.33, that will be 20.33. So the radius will be the half of the diameter. So 20.33 divided by two, and that will be 10.16. So you see, uh, this is the whole question and it's showing up on your screen. Oh my God, it's too small. I, I, don't, I don't think that it will be visible to you. So I just roll it down. Don't round it off. I just rounded it off and my answers were little off. So 39.8, keep it 39.8, keep it this 50.2, 39.8, 50.2. Here use 39.8 instead of 40 because when I rounded off, my ans answers were little off than the answer given in the book. So the final answer is 10.16. This is a diameter. Okay. So uh, my dear students, uh, today we have uh, done, uh, this is uh, from question number 20 to question number 27 of the exercise 13C uh, from the book D3. This exercise was about the circle properties and there were three exercises. Then we have the review exercise. Review exercise, I will try to do. But this exercise 13C is completed. We have completed this exercise in three sessions. So there are three videos. This is the third video. And in this video, we have completed from question number 20 to question number 27. These questions are not that straightforward. And you see, 
uh, you will able you will be able to understand these questions only if you will do them uh, yourself so when you are watching this video please have a copy with you do these questions uh, make those diagrams of the circles and do them actually so just by looking at the video you will not be able to do them or understand them properly for this it's important that you do them with the video so if you like this video and you think you have learned something from this video share the link of this video with your uh, with your friends through the facebook instagram and the twitter account you like this video also subscribe my channel also suggest other people to subscribe my channel because this is a great appreciation for me and for my work it's a great blessing for me to be able to teach you through this youtube channel thank you very much everyone have a good day God bless you all.